Hi, and welcome to the Positive Success Show. I'm your host, Dominique Narciso, and I'm a success coach for high achievers living abroad. I help you redefine personal and professional success so that you can create a simple lifestyle that has more income, impact, and freedom. All right, everyone, welcome to episode number 44, Serve, Lead, and Succeed. So I wanna share with you just a brief story of service uh, that I recently did because a good friend of mine invited me to do a workshop for an NGO that uh, she knew needed workshop facilitators and it was all virtual. And so of course, being like the super excited, like, oh, I love talking about goals, I love talking about success, uh, I volunteered. And it was one of the most humbling experiences that I've had in a long time. And I say humbling because when you are in a position of raising kids, of trying to make your career work, trying to make you know, your marriage work, you know, just juggling all of these different things, life gets really complicated and it gets very complex. Um, and so finding that time to give back is few and far between unless you really prioritize it. And one of the things that I learned from serving is that when you give, you receive so much. And it's not a, oh, look at me, uh, you know, people, I'm important or anything like that. You, it's like you receive um, this level of gratitude, this level of uh, thanks for the life that you've been given. And if you're in a position to give back, like give back, give back more. Because the more you give back, the more you are leading in your field, the more you're leading in your community, the more you are leading others to be great. And when you do those two things, you serve and you lead, you succeed. That is the foundation for success. It's not this selfish, you know, rise to the top. I'm going to, you know, take everybody down with me, you know, not with me, but take everybody down to get to the top. It's how can I build others up so that no matter, you know, what the fruits of my labor are, I am pushing others towards a positive direction as well as myself. And if what you are doing, you are teaching, guiding, motivating, empowering others to do better, that's all you can do. This is all it is. You know, really pushing forth and putting forth that positive energy to serve and lead others. And a lot of the things that I do for myself for the work um, in coaching and in workshops and anything, it's, it's all about how can I give people a little bit more courage to believe in themselves. And so the crazy thing about this workshop is that I'm listening to these questions and the title of the workshop was Goals for Greatness. I'm listening to these questions and they were just absolutely like very mature. It's like, oh, is a university education needed? Um, what is the most challenging thing of being an entrepreneur? Um, what do you do when a family member disagrees with your life choices? You know, things that, you know, adults, us as adults, like we deal with all the time. We deal with people judging, we deal with people, you know, maybe tearing our dreams down. And I definitely like, it was a moment, like I, I just started crying when they all like showed up on the, on the channel, like they all turned on their cameras. And these, these young kids, they were, um, they must've been 10. 11, 12 years old, and they were asking these incredible questions. And right now, just thinking about it makes me tear up because they're hungry. They're hungry for mentorship. They're hungry for leadership. They're hungry for experience and knowledge and, you know, access to the things that you and I know a lot about. You know, in order to succeed, you gotta, you know, we have to get an education. You have to build your confidence. You have to take risks. You have to do things that are outside your comfort zone. And so, I'm sharing this story with you because if you have an opportunity to serve others, just do it. Just serve others. Give your knowledge away. Um, teach others what you know. And through that whole process, like you will open up so much because the more that you teach, the more that you give, the more that you serve, it just keeps adding up. It just keeps adding up in, I don't even know what you call it, but like, gosh, you keep, you keep filling your own bucket by giving to others. My daughter had this homeschooling activity about being a bucket filler. Are you a bucket filler or are you not a bucket filler? And it basically talks about, you know, what can you do to fill another person's bucket? You can show kindness. You can be 
polite and say thank you and please. You can, you know, ask your your father, or your grandfather, or your grandma, or anyone in your family like to spend time with them. Just very simple things of giving of ourselves and not being always in that receive mode. And so be a bucket filler, you know, serve others, lead others. And I guarantee you that regardless of the outcome, as long as your intention is positive, you will be successful because that's the direction of your, of your energy. You're, you just, you just want to give, you want to help people and that will help you be successful. So thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you like the podcast, if it's been inspiring you, definitely share it with your friends. Please leave, um, please leave a, uh, what is it called? Uh, a rating, <laughs> uh, you know, just let me know how I'm doing. If there's anything that you want to listen to, or you want to hear more about, uh, you can write a comment down below and I'd be happy to, uh, to, yeah, to talk about what you want to talk about. Like this is not just a one way conversation, but you know, this, this dialogue of how I can help you become a positive success. All right, everyone, remember to be bold, be positive and take action every day. Bye for now.